Empower FZ is the Falcon Zones brand for modern personalized learning, focusing on engaging environments, enhanced opportunities, and elevated instruction. Our modern curriculum focuses on learner voice and choice so that lessons can be learner-driven and personalized. This will ensure that students can learn at their time, pace, path, and place of learning. Teacher teams worked over the summer to review and evaluate the Colorado academic standards in relation to our achievement data. They identified standards as priority or supplemental and mapped a logical progression from kindergarten to 12th grade, thus establishing our continuum of learning. Teams further unpacked each standard to determine the criteria for proficiency at the appropriate level of rigor based on the cognitive growth targets. Proficiency scales were written with this criteria and leveled as emerging, developing, proficient, and advanced to identify the performance level of the student. Teachers access these proficiency scales within our Empower FC Learning Plan Generator in our Empower Tools digital ecosystem. Teachers select specific content standards and generate a specific learning plan. Our advanced learning plan template displays the standard and proficiency scale front and center so that parents, students, and teachers know exactly what is needed to reach the proficient level. Activities are included to help students learn about, practice, and demonstrate their final evidence of learning. Evidence of learning tasks provide students with choice and flexibility in determining how to meet the given criteria on the proficiency scale. Teams have started to develop yearly at a glance or YAGs for each content area and grade level to organize our scope and sequence of the curriculum. This ensures a guaranteed and viable curriculum is used K-12 in our zone and that students master the essential power standards as they progress through the continuum of learning. Empower FZ curriculum content is accessed digitally through our learning plan generator. We're now in the midst of creating a learning plan resource bank so that teachers can share resources and learning plans with each other. Learning plans are linked within our learning management system, Schoology, for students and parents to have access to materials and criteria for proficiency. Teacher teams will meet annually to review and refine our continuum of learning based on new student achievement data to update our continuum of learning along with the new criteria for proficiency in the proficiency scale. This will ensure that our curriculum is up to date, designed at the appropriate level of rigor, and will best meet the needs of our students in today's society. This will only further empower Falcon Zone and all of our learners. Hi, my name is Brooke Nielsen and I teach Spanish at Falcon High School, where we build a legacy of empowered learners. Welcome to our classroom, where boldness is on the agenda and adventure awaits. The first thing to know is that we are family here and we are ready for adventure. As an essential part of Hispanic culture, family is a pillar in our classroom. Students engage in authentic learning experiences as they adopt family roles within their groups. We've added a new twist on class code by creating a class motto, Somos Familia Aquí. We are family here. Students use the ASL sign for family when they witness a classmate modeling exceptional behavior, overcoming a challenge, or asking a great question that begs to be answered. Students walk alongside me as we explore the world of adventure and learning a new language. Like any adventure, it's best to be equipped with the knowledge of where you're going. But like most journeys, there are countless pathways to get there. My students drive the content of our roadmap where I'm the guide and students choose what to learn. Students equip themselves with essential travel items by unpacking our language and culture standards, developing SOPs, and looking at our roadmap to proficiency. Students then don their adventure caps and take ownership by selecting what they want to learn. They level up by showing proficiency and a collection of evidence that varies by student. Students develop digital notebooks, much like a travel journal, earning stamps as they traverse the world of language. A famous traveler once said, the greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Part of our mission here is to empower students to possess the skills to face future challenges resourcefully and creatively. In our classroom, students look ahead by reflecting and goal setting. Students again take ownership by recognizing exemplary classmates who are breaking ground. Students then create goals to enhance their experience for their next learning trek. The Empower FC instructional model has fostered a positive change in my classroom where the excitement for learning is evident. I'm excited for new adventures where students are taking bold steps toward new places. Hi, I'm Katherine David, a fourth grade teacher at Meridian Ranch Elementary. In the last five years, I've been on a journey to create a personalized learning classroom that's really transformed my students' engagement in learning. 
First, we started the year by creating a classroom vision and students voted each step of the way for why we're in the classroom and why we never quit trying. Next, we made a shared code to create a place where all could learn, support each other, and be successful. We followed the same process for creating standard operating procedures, which promote self-monitoring skills. Students take ownership by helping keep each other accountable to following the expectations they created. Another shift is fostering student ownership in learning and engagement. Students own their learning by keeping track of their progress and growth. They use proficiency scales embedded in each standard to see if they're ready to move on to the next level or if they need to continue practicing where they're at. Also, students complete a learner profile, which helps them determine activities and flexible seating to choose based on how they learn best. They use data notebooks to track their progress and set personalized goals based on the priority standards and roadmaps. Next, I use a variety of data to form my small groups based on student needs. This ensures that students are getting targeted instruction at their level while others are independently working at their level. Data from pre-assessments allows me to form small groups and teach mini lessons based on the specific needs of each group. I also use data from their practice activities and summative tasks to see if students need a review, remediation, or to move at a quicker pace. Finally, having multiple pathways for learning really increases student motivation. First, learning plans include levels, and students know where to begin based on their pre-assessment and proficiency scale. The practice it section has multiple activities to select based on learning styles and needs. The evidence of learning also includes choice, with the option to develop their own project that meets the rigor of the standard. Choice boards are included at the end of the unit, giving an opportunity to showcase mastery in a way that excites students. My name is David Power. I teach science to sixth graders at Falcon Middle School in District 49. In our classroom, we use we, us, and our as often as possible. Students understand by our words and actions that this is our classroom. We create the culture and we determine our goals and our outcomes. Our first 20 days are spent examining how school fits into our big picture how we want to treat each other, and how we want our classroom to run. We brainstorm ideas, work them down to agreed upon documents, and post them for reference throughout the year. Students of all ages, including myself, show ownership of our learning when we accept the challenge to grow our understanding of the world. This acceptance is a mindset that assures success if a student is given the encouragement, support, and a path forward by others with a passion for the topic. Students in our science class own a science data notebook where they have collected the sixth grade science roadmap and their advanced learning plans. As the year progresses, these learning plans and the pathways through them become increasingly complex in terms of the standard standards addressed and the choices given. Students begin with a pretest to determine the depth of prior knowledge and help place them into the most appropriate entry level of the unit's learn about it phase. From there, students can choose the platform in which to engage with the unit's topic, the amount of time spent on that topic, and the depth of knowledge achieved on the topic, keeping in mind that proficiency is the goal given the time constraints and the amount of effort put into it. NGSS standards lend themselves to practicing and demonstrating evidence of learning by activities that involve hands-on investigations, including data creation and analysis, model development for explanatory demonstrations, and engineering design build test processes to meet given criteria and constraints. Small group instruction based on student needs takes place primarily during the practice it phase of a unit's advanced learning plan since the timeline through each plan can be fluid depending on the individual. Those that arrive quickly are prepared. Students with IEPs are able to join me right away in the practice it activities so they have small group hands-on experiential learning. My name is Jamie Mitchell and I'm a first grade teacher at Woodman Hills Elementary School in District 49, located in Falcon, Colorado. In my classroom, every student knows that they are on their own personal path to success. By creating this safe environment, students can regulate their behavior and support others when problems arise and provide conflict resolution using the code and vision that we created together as a class. SOPs have also been created by the class and are accessed throughout the day to guide students in setting the stage for what is expected of them. Students use their data binders daily to track their progress and set personal goals. 
I conference with students individually to record scores from reading progress monitoring, spelling tests, and math exit tickets, and discuss what each score means. Students use colors to track their progress and understand what each color means on our proficiency scales. This also drives small group and targeted instruction for each student. It is so wonderful to see each student truly take pride in their growth and achievements. By establishing an environment where students feel comfortable to take risks, students know that their goals may look different than their classmates, and this is a crucial part of our journey to a student-centered classroom. This year, our first grade team developed our roadmaps to replicate a rainbow. Students know that in order to bridge the rainbow from one cloud to the other, they are learning everything that they need to in first grade to be successful in second grade. By allowing students to choose their own personal pathway of learning in different content areas, it has allowed them to demonstrate ownership of their learning. Students access different learning walls throughout the day where different target skills are referenced for the week. Different levels of rigor are offered to meet the needs of all students. Various learning styles and interventions are taken into account when creating the tasks that are used for our learning walls and individual learning plans. Students have the opportunity to engage in both digital and non-digital platforms to work independently on their learning plans. Their learning plans guide their learning pathway. By utilizing the variety of choice opportunities throughout the day, students are truly the leaders and stewards of their learning and feel empowered. As you can see, I'm a proud tornado. Hi, I'm Laura Anderson. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Meridian Ranch Elementary School in District 49. The implementation of Modern Teacher and Empower Falcon Zone has shifted my understanding of why personalized learning is so vital in my classroom and has showed me how to put the power back into the hands of my students. One of the guiding pieces of our classroom culture is the use of vision, code, SOPs, and goal setting created in the first week of school, giving us our whys and hows. We consistently revisit each during classroom meetings, knowing they are working documents. We reflect and add or change when needed. We also learn about proficiency scales at the beginning of the year. Scoring and learning should be very transparent to students and be presented in terms of their understanding. Roadmaps, both year long and unit, are given with priority standards, allowing students to see long and short term goals. When we begin a new standard, we unpack it as a class. We look for key action words and action academic vocabulary. Because of students' understanding of proficiency scales, we are able to set skills we need at different levels. Students are able to determine what they need to do in order to grow through the standard. Students are given leveled learning plans for each standard and begin with a pretest. This shows us the skills they have already acquired, which we mark off on the learning plan scale and then set what they will focus on next. They choose from there how they want to work through the learn about it and practice it. Once they feel confident, they choose their own evidence of learning to show mastery. Once mastering a standard, students access a fly free folder with a level four real world application of the standard. Growth and learning is marked in their data binders with everything from summative to formative assessments. These binders give students the opportunity to track, reflect, and speak about their progress. Part of personalized learning is the chance to learn in a variety of settings. Data from independent work, pretests, exit tickets, and post tests drive how I will group my students, giving them the chance to work in a small group with me, a peer group, or independently. Our zone brand is EFZ, Empower Falcon Zone. This perfectly sums up what personalized learning has done. It not only empowers myself, but more importantly, my students for richer learning. My name is Melissa Armstrong and welcome to kindergarten at Meridian Ranch. This is my fifth year on my Empower FC journey. Building a strong classroom culture is at the heart of a growth-centered classroom. Students and I created our vision, code, and SOPs, all of which allow students to take ownership and work efficiently and successfully. We keep these things alive by revisiting daily, revising when needed, and celebrating both personal and class successes. Personalized learning is evident through increased student agency. Using our year-long kindergarten roadmap, we set goals, engage in authentic learning tasks, track progress, and celebrate growth, all of which empower learners. Each priority standard correlating to our roadmap is paired with an ALP. Students are involved in unpacking each standard, which develops an understanding of the learning progression and proficiency scales. Through the implementation of ALPs, students have multiple pathways to learn. They have voice and choice in learner-centered activities differentiated at their learning level.
My students can advocate for themselves by using our conference board to request individual conference time with me for one-on-one -on -one support or to show an EOL. Pre-assessment data, formal progress monitoring, and informal data collected throughout lessons drive small groups and intervention. The data collected is used to help my students and I identify their current learning level and where they are in relation to the roadmap goals. An important component of using a learning plan with kindergartners is the reflection piece. Students use the ALP to track their weekly learning choices as well as their effort. This learning step has been vital to student success. Personalized learning in the classroom has increased student engagement and excitement, developing a lifelong love of learning in each child. Watching my students thrive with determination and a growth mindset has truly been a gift. By creating engaging environments, enhanced learning opportunities, and elevated instruction, my students have thrived in unimaginable ways. Each on their own path, they are truly owning their learning. Hi, my name is Natalie Miller and I'm the instructional coach at Meridian Ranch Elementary, Falcon Zone District 49. Carol Dweck states that becoming is better than being and I would have to agree. I fully believe that a culture of trust and strong relationships boosts and nurtures a growth mindset, ultimately leading to collective efficacy. If we are to empower students, it begins with empowering teachers. My Empower FZ journey has been a collaborative effort with the Falcon Zone Steering Committee, instructional coaches, and staff in the pursuit of personalized learning. Together, we are working to increase relationships, professional learning, and innovative pathways to empower teachers across our zone. In this process, instructional rounds have built relationships, trust, and overall growth in our buildings. Together, we have built an Empower FZ evaluation and learner profiles. The creation of the continuum of learning and unpacking of high priority standards provided shared ownership and advanced learning plans to be created. And collaborative practices across our buildings are allowing teachers to learn from one another and students through Empower FZ open houses and site visits. As the instructional coach at Meridian Ranch, I've sought to walk alongside teachers as a partner in learning to best support student and staff goals and the Empower FC vision. In cultivating a culture of, I don't know this yet, we have discovered modern teacher provided the how, but together through Empower FC, we are the why. Our greatest shift has been to teacher-driven professional learning. Through the facilitation of our Empower FC team, successful professional development, innovative strategies, and a broader scope of support is available to our staff. Interest in learning from others has led to the implementation of Traffic Tuesdays, peer observations, and a site for sharing Empower FC artifacts. By encouraging choice and voice, teams are personalizing PLCs to work at their pace and path, dig deeper into Empower FZ, and make adaptations unique to their students, classrooms, and teaching situations. Year-at-a-glance maps have become valuable tools for team planning, and advanced learning plans are being co-created and shared. Collective efficacy in staff and student agency are growing in our school. We are all becoming facilitators of learning. I believe in this work, and I believe in this staff. This has been a collective journey, and I feel very fortunate to be in an environment where we are becoming together and we are personalizing and empowering teachers together. My name is Shean Freeman Todd and I have been fortunate to serve at Meridian Ranch Elementary School in the Falcon Zone for the past six years. Here at Meridian Ranch, I have had the opportunity to start with the steering committee with our work from the ground up with Modern Teacher. This has led to our instructional model, which has also led to the culture of instruction at Meridian Ranch Elementary. Our instructional model has the components included in our zone evaluation tool. All instructional staff know the evaluation tool and have opportunities to invite walkthroughs from both administration and instructional coach. A key component in bringing the instructional model to life in classrooms across the building has been building a culture of continuous learning and making it safe for staff to take risks. Simply put, change is hard. Leading through second order change equals making a major shift. In March of 2020, we were Working in our journey with Empower of Z, going totally remote changed our way of instruction and showed our need to change and caused the school to take a look at how we were going to move forward. This was the start of our second order change. Instructional staff worked through the beginning stages of playlists and choice boards during this time frame. Students remained engaged during remote learning and continued to grow academically. Upon returning to in-person learning as a staff, we had to revisit our what and why. This leads to greater engagement with learning plans and really knowing our content standards. Leading at second 
order change involves building a leadership team that is highly engaged and asks the hard questions. It also means knowing your what and why. Also, tying this change into your school mission vision that is easily accessible and that everyone knows. Facilitating innovation and collaboration is the best part of leading a school. Knowing your staff is critical in this stage in order to know what they need to lead and shine. Having a learner-centered classroom is critical in working towards the mission at Meridian Ranch Elementary. Teachers have been working on multiple pathways for learning. This has been facilitated through our learner profile. Students have been able to identify how they learn best and their strengths. Working through goals with students allows teachers to find a pathway for student engagement. This is a work in progress and will continue to be as we solidify advanced learning plans. In the Falcon Zone, we have a steering committee that meets frequently. These meetings allow each site to share their best practices. This collaboration allows us to learn new strategies and ideas and validates the work we're doing here at Meridian Ranch Elementary.